Hello friends, once again I welcome you to my channel and in previous video we have discussed some numericals from gate exam. In this video also we will continue solving some numericals. So here is this numerical, see. So see, in this numerical what is given? If the value of PC equal to 2004, that means you are going to execute some instruction located at this address. And the, after executing the instruction pointed by PC, that, that they are telling, what will be the updated value of PC? Because PC is having 2004, at this 2004, some instruction is given. After executing this instruction, where at all will move to? That means what will be the updated value of PC? So to do that, we have to see what is the instruction. It is a conditional branch instruction. Branch not equal to zero. What it will say? the result of the previous instruction. Based on the result of the previous instruction, it will conclude either to take a branch or not to take a branch. So first see what is the value of the result of the previous instruction. Add R1, R2. R1 is having 10, R2 is having 100. So after performing the addition operation, the result will be what? 110. That is not equal to zero, right? Which is not equal to zero. And my branch instruction is checking the result of the previous instruction. And if it is not equal to zero, then you will be jumping to some instruction, which is at offset 1000 from your next instructions address. This is my offset. And from this instruction at offset this, whatever instruction is there that we are going to execute, right? So, what we'll do? First, see, B and Z is a conditional branch instruction. It will jump to the instruction specified in its level field if the result of the previous instruction is not equal to zero. That condition you need to understand, not equal to zero. And in our case, condition is also true because result is 110, which is not equal to zero. So where at all I'll move to? I'll move to next instructions address plus offset. So see, why next instruction? Why not this one? Why? Because whenever we fetch the instruction, this one, B and Z 1000, by that time only, PC is already updated to the next instruction in sequence. Because already you know when we perform a instruction fetch, that time the value of PC is given to whom? MAR, right? You remember that? We have seen it in our initial videos. So MAR will get the value 2004. This 2004 will be given to MAR. Then you issue a read signal. Then you need to wait for memory's MFC signal. So whenever we are waiting, we will try to do something with the CPU. So what we can do, we can update the value of PC to point to the next instruction in sequence. Because mostly we perform sequential execution. So better we'll update the PC to the next instruction in sequence. So that is we'll add four to it. Because here my assumption is that the length of each instruction is 4 bytes and the machine is byte addressable. So PC will, be, PC will be updated to this address, PC plus 4. So before your instruction comes into MDR, that will go to IR, right? Then decoding, then execution happens. So before that only your PC is incremented. So the point is whenever you are executing this instruction, value of PC is 2008. While executing, I'm saying, while executing this PC it has become 2008. So with this 2008, we need to add the offset. So already I will explain this part. Then the value of PC will be 2008 plus 1000, that is 3008. So answer is 3008. Hope this one is clear. Then another problem of similar type we will do. See. PC is already 2004, that means this instruction we are going to execute, right? Then after this instruction, what is the value of PC? So see, first, because it is a conditional branch, so we will see the result of previous instruction. Previous instruction is this one, so let's execute that. Add R1, R2, their values are 10 and 100. So it will be what? 110. 110 is not equal to zero, right? And this is a conditional branch instruction which will move to the target only when the result is equal to zero, equal to zero. But whether your result is equal to zero? No, your result is not equal to zero. So you are not going to 
add this 1000 with the updated value of PC. Rather, you will be at the updated address only. So by the time 2004 is executed, PC will be incremented and PC will remain 2008 only. Why? Because you are not going to add 1000 to it because your condition is false. Because the condition is not true. This is understood. So see, we have seen conditional branch. Once it is true, once it is uh, once it is true, once it is false. So if it is false, then the address of the next instruction. If it is true, then offset plus address of the next instruction will be the value of PC. Done? Then one more. Just similar kind, one more. So R1 is 10. This time we have changed R2. R2 is holding minus 100. And see, branch greater than 0. We have come across this, branch greater than 0. So it will check the result of the previous instruction. And if it is greater than 0, then we are going to perform a jump. So first, let's find out the result of previous instruction. So that is R1 plus R2 will be what? Minus 90. And it is not greater than 0. It is a negative quantity. So it is not greater than 0. So condition is true or false. Next instruction is a conditional branch instruction. And it will move only when the result is greater than 0. Your result is greater than 0 or not? No, it is your result is not greater than 0. And right now, what is the value of PC? Address of the next instruction. That is 2008. And it will remain that only because condition has become false. So it will be 2008 as the branch condition is not true. Done? So this is also kind of similar to my previous one. Only what you, why I have done it, here it is minus 100. We need to see the quantities carefully. Sometimes by default, we'll think that it is positive value now. That time we'll end up at mistakes, right? Next one is one more. This time we'll see unconditional jump. That is irrespective of any condition, we are going to jump, right? So PC value is 2048. That means some instruction is there at 2048. I need not have to see my previous instruction. Why? Because my instruction is jump. You write J-U-M-P or sorry, J-U-M-P or you write J-M-P. Both are same for me, right? So what they are doing? They are similar to your high level language programming go to statement. Go to L1. So whenever you write go to L1, irrespective of anything, you are going to move to L1, right? So here also jump 1000. So what we are going to do, we need not have to see any previous instruction result. Simply move to where? Next instructions address plus offset. That is the relative addressing mode now. So by the time you are executing this, PC is already pointing to 2052. So with this 2052, you need to add the offset. That is 1000. So it will be 3052. So it is somewhere down here, 3052. Some instruction is there that you are going to execute, right? So jump is an unconditional branch instruction irrespective of the result of the previous instruction because of that previous instruction is not given. It will jump to the instruction specified in the label field. No condition checking. You need not have to see any condition, right? By the time instruction 2048 executed, PC will be incremented to the next instructions address. That is 2052. So, Hence, PC value will be your, because anyways, you are going to jump. So, 2052 plus 1000, that is 3052. So, updated value of PC will be 3052. So, hope you have understood all these four numericals. In this video, I'll discuss this much only. In my next video, again, I'll come with some, some more numericals. Till then, thank you. And if you are liking my videos, then please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Thank you.